question comes in is how do I uh, set up the first uh, six or seven, in this case, nine steps of an arrangement? So what we're going to do is we've got it powered up. All the sensors are hooked up the way they should be. No errors on the screen. Let me show you how you walk through an arrangement and, and change some of the settings and adjust them. So what you can do is when you walk up to the control the first time, it'll always read the collector temperature. You can see we're pretty hot out there right now, 200 degrees. We've got this hooked up on an actual system. So what you want to do is take and hold the right button, the plus button, the very right button, and just hold it. You have to keep holding it down because that's what's going to make it jump into menus where you can start making changes and adjusting. So let me show you what will happen. If you hold the right button, you'll see it will scroll through the, the, all the view screens, and then it jumps to where it says arrangement, A-R-R. So we're going to start with the very uh, simplest arrangement, arrangement one, the most common arrangement was just a one tank solar system. And now when you're in arrangement one, it's going to ask you a couple different things. DT, it always, the screen tries to tell you what, um, what it's indicating here. So delta T on. So 12 degrees is what the factory default is. That means when the collector is warmer than 12 degrees, uh, warmer than the tank, it's going to kick on. Uh, the next one will be delta T F. F is for off. Delta T off. That means when the tank gets within 8 degrees, factory default, of uh, the collector temperature, it's going to shut off. The next one is delta T step, is what I call the S. It's an S, not a 5 for step. And that means as the collector warms up, as soon as the collector gets 20 degrees warmer than the tank, it's going to start increasing the pump speed from that 30% speed that it starts, and it's going to bump it up, bump it up. So 20 degrees is where it starts making that step. That's a good setting, a factory default. It is adjustable, but we like 20. Now rise, 4 degrees. So once it kicks into where it's going to start stepping up the pump speed, Every four degrees that it rises, it's going to go up another pump speed, another pump speed. It'll go up to 35, 40, 50, 55, all the way up to 100%. So that's what the rise means. Temperature rise, pump speed increases. Minimum pump speed, that's as slow as a pump can go when you're uh, in the variable speed function. Um, I prefer actually to have that at 40 degrees if you have a glycol system. So let's, let's just go back to that and hit a set. And let's take that up to 40 degrees and accept it. Uh, so that now our minimum pump speed is 40, and that shows you how you can increase the setting too by just using the set and the arrow button. And now we've got storage max, SMX, storage max. So that's the tank temperature when the collector is going to shut off, when the pump will shut off the collector and the tank. Um, have gotten the uh, system up to 142 degrees. Of course, that's adjustable. 140 is actually the factory default. Um, a lot of installers like that bump that up a little bit just to collect a little bit more energy. On the new, the latest version to um, iSolar Plus Control have this OSEM, and it's a tank storage maximum temperature. And in order to use this, if you're going to enable this, you can see I've got it turned on, you've got to install sensor number three, and sensor number three wants to be at the top of the storage tank. So basically what that's doing, as we know, a, a storage tank is going to stratify. As the water in the tank gets hotter, the hottest water goes up to the top. Now obviously we don't want to pop our safety relief valve at 210 degrees, so sensor number three is going to read that top uh, temperature and you can set that. So if you turn that on, if the top of the tank gets up to let's say 190 degrees, even though the bottom of the tank is reading at 140, that's a protection for that. So if you choose to enable it like I did here, you're going to have to um, uh, use sensor three. And then the last one in this very first uh, setting of arrangement one is EM. Once the collector gets to that, it's emergency maintenance. Once the collector gets to 270 degrees, the pump is shut off. It's not going to run anymore. It's done for the day. So again, that's adjustable. Some people like to bump that up a little bit higher. If you've got a good glycol in your system, some guys prefer to take that up to a little bit uh, higher, maybe 275, accept it. So there's the first nine um, steps of an arrangement how to set them, what they mean, what they do for your system, and it's probably our most common question is how do I set those basic um, on-off functions of the iSolar controllers.